Why do you think you have a primary opponent now? Well, I know that this popped up uh, just uh, right at the same time that the Iowa caucus was taking place. And you see the little bit of the rumblings along the way. But you had a guest here a couple of weeks ago that an announced that he's the finance chair for my opponent. So I would say if you'd pull that guest out of the equation and uh, uh, maybe the head of the super PACs that'll be running those dollars and, and negative ads against me, there would not be a candidate because there wouldn't have been anybody else to recruit an opponent. They need to answer that question. They say that it's about renewable fuels. There isn't anybody in the United States House of Representatives that's a stronger supporter of renewable fuels than I am. If it's not about that, then what? Well, then I think it would have to be because uh, they seem to want to have a congressman that um, is um, more willing to answer to their beck and call. And I have an obligation to everyone in this 4th District. I owe them my best effort and my best judgment. And they know that I'm not, I'm not influenced by anything other than what's good for the people that I represent. What's the motive? Well, the motive, I think, is the incentives that have been proposed. And those people need to answer to what they are. And I do think Rick Bertrand needs to answer this question. What did you get offered and what did you accept? And I think the voters need to know that because that's a bigger part of this equation. If you don't have an issue, then what is the motive? He needs to answer that. So you're it, suggesting he took under the table payments? No. So, so you're suggesting that he took campaign contributions. Is that illegal? I'm not even suggesting that. I'm suggesting, here's, here's what did I Did he know. do something illegal? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't have suspicion that that's the case either. Well, unveil I just, what I just, you were I, talking about I just know this, there. that... I know that there have been a number of people who they attempted to recruit to run against me. And I know that he's not in the first half dozen. And I know what, they, I know what the proposals were. And so I can't, I can't believe that he would be the guy that bit on the empty hook, to put it simply.